Why acting? Yeah. Oh God, that's a profound question. I've been doing it since I was like 11. I'm just, I'm just drawn to pretending to be other people and doing voices and faces. It's more than that, obviously. It's not just voices and faces, but just inhabiting other people and telling stories is, you know, I think I'm a storyteller. I think that's what my natural instinct is. And this kind of world is where I've leaned on. I like a domestic story. I like a domestic drama. I like telling stories like between family members and I like you know, what it feels like when you're in love, when your heart's broken, when you're feeling anger. I like to inhabit those feelings and, you know, draw on my own experiences in life and from other people's experiences from literature and art and then use that to create, you know, other worlds and characters. I don't know, you have to have something else. You have to have a life outside of acting. I think for a lot of my teen years when I was acting, I felt very defined. Uh, status-wise by how much work I was doing and then when I wasn't working I it was like I fell off a cliff I didn't really know who I was as I've got older I found the most important things in my life are friends and family and other experiences outside of acting I have a huge passion for art that is something that I'm heavily involved in I go to the gym regularly that's something that keeps my head clear I use that to learn lines I use that just to stay focused and, and keep healthy you have to have a life outside of the job and you need that because you need to be able to draw on all those experiences to put them into acting you can't just live scripts you have to live life to portray life um, I think you just have to be the best you can be when you get in the room you have to prepare fully you have to really know the character if you can be off book and know your lines that's always incredibly helpful and everybody appreciates that I think just know that they're on your side I think so many people walk into a casting directors office or an interview audition and feel like they want them to fail but they don't they want you to succeed they want you to be the right person for the job so just know that they've got your back the reason you're there is because they think you have the potential to play this character so don't put yourself down be confident and don't take it personally when it doesn't work out just know that it's these stories are being told for a reason there's so much alchemy in that and you weren't right for that one but you'll be right for something else I love auditions I mean, yeah, I get nerves, but they're nerves that I can control and, and use. You know, I prefer being in the room. All this self-tape and stuff, sorry Spotlight, when I've been there a lot, uh, it gets right on my beeswax. Because uh, you just do it, and you're doing it yourself, and you send it out there in the world, and, you know, half the time, nothing comes back, you don't hear anything. I always find it very frustrating. I like to be in the room, and I like to be able to chat, and I like to be able to show them who I am, and who the character is that I want to play, and how I play it. Uh, so for me, I, I, I embrace auditions, and I think that's overcoming your nerves in auditions is going to be something as well that will really, like, push you forward. I would tell myself as a kid, and looking forward now, and I was thinking about this the other day, is that it's gonna, you're going to be all right, you know. If, as long as you keep studious, you keep focused and you keep working. I mean, all through my teenage years, I didn't go to drama school, but I was always, I, if I wasn't going to drama clubs, drama classes, workshops for this, I was reading plays, I was seeing plays. It hooked me, theatre, going to theatre. I saw Sweeney Todd at the National Theatre when I was 11 with school, and after that I was completely hooked. I was like, this is 100% what I want to do. I want to be on the stage. I want to be out there. And I think just, I would say to myself, I don't know, I said to myself, just do what you're doing. I feel like I, I feel very privileged to be in a position I'm in now and I sort of stuck to my guns and I've been very I've been very ambitious but I've also allowed life to happen as well and that's I think nourished uh, me.